Din it, 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 or whatever the song is. This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Tired of missing out on figures or paying scalper prices at toy stores? Then go ahead and visit DJC Collectibles, my sponsor. You can get 10% on anything Transformers, accumulate points, and sometimes score an exclusive figure you thought you'd miss forever. Head over to DJC Collectibles and start saving today. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane. I'm back with another door review and spoiler alert, this is Agent Knight which i'm extremely surprised to see like i am i did not expect this guy until like december or november uh and it, it, it's a big car like i don't know i i i it, it says deluxe or i think they saw they, they promoted it as a deluxe but this looks i don't know a little bigger we'll see though you know maybe when i open it it's gonna be just a deluxe you know, probably a remold of Sideswipe. No, I don't know. I think this is a new mold, but we'll see. We'll find out. And it says here, speaks in English only. Speaks in English only. And so it comes with, I think that's really cool that they, it's been, actually this, this guy, if you see my review of this guy, when I found out there was, you know, speech stuff and transformation noise, I flipped out. I was so happy. So the fact that this guy is, you know, uh, requires a, three batteries which my wife got me i'm good so i'm fa i'm fantastically happy with having this figure uh back in the 80s i was a big fan of kit you know and car as most people were uh but i outgrew the franchise honestly um you know i didn't watch any of the reboots or the series or anything like that but i do want to have this in my collection just you know it's kit so yeah but before I do that, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very happy about. And also check out my interview playlist, uh, something that, you know, it's probably some of the, my fondest memory are with these guys. You know, close second to, you know, birth of my child and weddings and stuff. So, yeah. So let's go. Roll the intro. So out of the box, um, I usually do robots and then I, you know, do the alt mode first. But he came uh, packaged like that. There was this little ins like thing covering him, which I removed, which is kind of a shame because uh, if you just move the car, this is the opening uh, scene of the show. Or I mean, it's in the opening scene of the show. Like you see him riding on on that uh, desert scene. So, thank you for including that, but like it's full of holes now. So, yeah, I guess for inbox collectors, uh, you can leave it intact, so, you know, it's a plus. Um, you have, like, the usual choking hazard stuff, you know, and then you have this one, which is probably, I don't know, there, it's probably for all the electronics that's included in the car. Give it to me. I intend to. You have this gun here, uh, looks like a uh, semi-automatic rifle or maybe an automatic. Uh, looks good, blast effect compatible. And then you have this little gun here, also blast effect uh, compatible, that's cool. And then you have the, the watch from the show, so that's cool. It doesn't look much like a watch, but anyway, it's, you know, it's still a nice accessory to have. Uh, you have the instructions, who will, I'm hoping, also tell you, yeah. So this is where you install the batteries, and where to press the button to have the light and sound effect of the chaser. Uh, the lights, the headlight, and where to store the gun. 
And then on the other side, you have the whole transformation from car to robot. Uh, there you go. So I haven't transformed them yet. I'm actually impressed by the size of the car. That's the main thing. You know, if I put him with a lock, go with this bumblebee here, huge difference. And on the box, there's no mentions of scale. I'm thinking this is more of a Voyager size character, but we'll see when you transform in robot mode. Maybe he's, he's tiny. I, I doubt it though. It isn't me. Gives you a second chance to live. The car itself looks really well okay from underneath it you know he's very hollow so all the electronics is up here and then the legs i he kind of remind me of like prowl and uh blue streak um, the way the arms are like straight up but it doesn't seem to be transforming the maybe it's an upscale or an adaptation of um prowl it's possible we'll see but i mean it's a new mold but it could be you know still using the same kind of mechanics love the wheels that's really well done no pegs like yeah and these are actual hubcaps like you see uh little uh you know holes for the screws so that's really well done and he's you know there's you 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 can tell that there's a lot of lines but he's not gappy you know everything is so smooth uh you see all the robot junk inside but you know that's expected so i'm hoping that toy hacks will do a uh, a decal set for at least i don't think we need much decal on the car because it was you know pretty black back then but i'm hoping that we do get some self-shaded windows nice paint the black light uh, the night and then you have the little light here this opens up and they don't snap or well, I, I don't want them to snap it's just it's you push them and then they open up so it's pretty cool and you have the chaser and the uh you know the the autobot logo and everything so it's all it's plastic uh you know colored plastic no no paint except for the lights and stuff so yeah it looks good let's uh i have some batteries here that my wife had thank you honey i'm gonna open this up and i'm not gonna do it on camera so let's uh let's install the batteries <laughs> See if this works. Nice. I am the voice of Night Industry 2000's microprocessor. K I T T for easy reference. Kit if you prefer. Hold on, this could be a bit bumpy. This is really cool. I like the chaser. I really do. I wish there was a way you could just leave the chaser on without, you know, on the shelf and it's just flashing all the time, but uh, there doesn't seem to be that function. So no, but it, it's really cool. And the quality of the sound is actually not bad. I mean, it's not like I've heard worse. So this is, this is really nice. Strike the surface as hard as you can. Come on, Devin, I'm not going to hit my car. It's beautiful. Mm. So let's see Kit here with... Let's go with Iron Storm, because I want to, you know, show a comparison with a Voyager just yet. Oh, okay, so it turns off after a while. That's cool. 
All right, so yeah, here is with Rainmaker Iron Storm, just for the scale of a Voyager size. And now here with probably the second most popular cars of the 80s, the DeLorean. Uh, it's really cool to have these two side by side. This is a deluxe scale. This is a remote of the side swipe. I don't. I think it scales well. Like it's. It, I. I think the a Firebird would be longer, but maybe not that much. What's all this? Looks like Darth Vader's bathroom. One thing I did want to try to show is where you can store the weapons. So you don't actually store them to hide them. You put them here in the back. There's a. Uh, Okay, so you see there's two, uh, there's a peg hole here and a peg hole there. So you have a peg on this here. I'm trying to show it uh, on camera, sorry. There you go. So they tell you to put this here. I don't know, well it's, okay, so it won't touch the ground. So that's, you know, a good thing. And then you have on this mini little gun, there's a little clip on each side. So we're gonna go like this, or not, yeah, there you go. So, I don't know, why not use, you know, it, it's kind of empty and hollow here, but I guess for transformation, it'd be a problem. Uh, they don't show you where to put the watch when he's in. So, cause I'm guessing it doesn't hinder transformation once you clip it on the arm. Oh, there you go. All right, final look at kit in alt mode. I do know how to drive. So because this is a new mode, I'm gonna do transformation. Uh, just to show you uh, what it looks like. So basically you, oh, tight joint, wow. Open, lift the arm up. And just oh, all right, very slight. No, uh, that that popped off way too easily. And this one too. Okay, so I'm gonna call that a QC issue, a minor one, but still. So you want to do this, lift them up, and they say turn the ends like this. And then after that, open the doors. Come on, all right. Uh, this is very much borrowed from the side swipe mold. Except that you have a roof here that separates. So, all right, you lift this up. Ah. All right, they closed, thank you. That's pretty tight. Okay, no, okay, they lift from here. So it's borrowed from Sideswipe, but with a different, I don't know, it's just slightly different. Can we separate these? Probably. There you go, and then you lift the foot like that. Oh, there's a heat. A toe inside underneath so all right so this this the bottom part is slightly like side swipe and now the top part push this down here ah there you go it collapses inside and now I'm guessing pull the head turn it put it like that push this down Okay, something's jamming here. Huh. Ah, okay, the hinges. All right. So, no. I'm trying to see if these hinges are supposed to be... Because now this thing won't clip in. It's similar to, the, the top part is really similar to Prowl. Oh, there's a clip. Ah, nope, I just snapped it. All right. Come on, the clip, the thing is right there. Okay, that's a QC issue. So the, the, the when you try to clip this, it 
unclips. Oh. I just activated the kit. Sorry, this is not the type of transformation I... That's why I don't do transformation on screen. Just for stupid stuff like that. Won't this clip back in now? Okay, so this is back in now. So I'm going to put the head down. I'm going to push this down again. And try to clip this. Without unclipping there you go okay so you can do it so once it's fully clipped pull the head put this down and the the back hinge is gonna fall so those gray hinge are gonna fall back and now do I have head movement kinda alright now I have this and I put this down and this is my agent knight it's oh uh, yeah, yeah you do that so enough there's this clip here let me just check the instruction because there's a little gap underneath the chest okay so it does so this is supposed to clip and in the back they show you that there's supposed to be two clips here that are gonna snap in place not feeling that Let's try to clip this. There you go. Oh. It won't stay. Oh, that's too bad. I mean, it's clipped, but I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's still here a little gap. But I mean, it's, it's stable. And then you put the back down. I don't think it clips anywhere. You have the wings. And there you go. That's Agent Knight. Not bad. I mean, it, it it has like a Rodimus Prime head, um, so it's kind of, uh, I don't know, it's, yeah, I have a Rodimus feel from this. So my opinion is that it's inspired for the legs by Sideswipe and the top by Prow. That's from Siege, you know, uh, or Earthrise. And then you have the watch, which side does it go? Like this? Yep. So the watch just attached to this wrist because there is no clip on the other side so now you can do well apparently you can do the talking now did I thank you kit did I put these arms right oh man it unclips very easily in the front I don't like that let me check if I have to do something with the arms no there's nothing to do with the arms that's you can move them the way you want them but there's no way to lift them up a little more but there is something you can do once you put the back down you can move the wings to give him a I don't know a different look so there you go he looks good I mean the blue jeans you know I, <laughs> I guess uh, no paint this is all colored plastic a little bit of paint here uh, you have, you know, the details that translate from the car. Little paint on the legs. Is there a way to move these? No, you can't hide the, the wheels. You know, that, I don't know. You could have maybe included a little flip mechanism here. Um, that could have been interesting. Uh, but he's very stable. No problem there. Yeah. I like him. What do... Okay, so let's... Well, okay, well, here's the guns, but... Let's go... Okay, this arm is lower. Is it just because of the... Yeah, okay. So if you get flush here, uh, he, the shoulders are uh, higher. It looks good. I I mean, there's, there's no nostalgia to this guy. Yeah, because we never had a robot mode, but it, it looks good. It doesn't look like the Hoff not that much i mean the red glasses i don't remember him wearing that on the show i remember rodimus hot rod wearing something like that uh, in the movie but so yeah all these weird gadgets you think they'd give you a radio what would you like to hear what the hell was that let's do articulation so he has a full rotation and he can look up quite a bit look down a little bit but i mean with those big old titties you don't know 
you know, where it's gonna, you know, you can't look just toes. So you have like a double shoulder joint here and this unclipped again. Ah, come on. <sighs> Very annoying. So that's, I'm gonna call that a QC issue again. Um, so you have this rotation. Uh, I mean, this movement, you have your Ferris wheel, no problem. You have a bicep rotation, a elbow bend, and a hand rotation. Oh, the hand also, yeah, it can go in the inside, which is not required for transformation. So that's a bonus we get. You Do we have an ab crunch? No, no ab crunch. Um, yeah, this is very much inspired by Prowl. And maybe Jazz. Uh, yeah, more proud than jazz, but yeah, there's similitude. Uh, you have a waist rotation, so you get your full merry-go-round. Do we get a oh beautiful Johnny Cage? Imagine the Hoff doing the split. Thank you, Kit. Imagine that uh, the Hoff doing a Johnny Cage. That'd be really cool. <laughs> And then you get a rotation at the tie. You get a knee bend, nice uh, knee bend. And then you have a uh, ankle tilt. And well, you don't have a rocker, but I mean, because of transformation, you have this thing here, so. All right. I like him, I like him. He's gonna be displayed in uh, alt mode, just like my DeLorean, but the heck of it. There you go. So you have your fully weaponized Agent Knight. I am the voice of Knight Industry 2000's microprocessor, K-I-T-T -T for easy reference, a kit if you prefer. Now let's do some size comparison in Robot. He's definitely not a deluxe. So here you have deluxe concept art Bumblebee movie Sunstreaker. You have a Voyager size Alpha Trion and he's taller than a Voyager and he weighs a lot more than a Voyager. So maybe he's a leader? Yeah, he looks like a leader. You know, he's still at a price point of, in Canada anyway, he's in between a Voyager and a, a leader, but it's because of the licensing and the electronics. So yeah, we're gonna go with Voyager. But since you were still recovering from your ordeal and I detect we're in a slightly irritable mood caused by fatigue, may I suggest you put the car in the auto cruise mode for safety's sake? No, you may not. So yeah, I'm really happy with this guy. It looks really good. And he's gonna go back into car mode now. And uh, you know, we're just gonna have uh, a nice display of kit. Basically, that's that's what I, I need. So I'm really happy with this figure. Um, I hope you get yours uh, quickly, because it's a it's an impress impressive car mode. I mean, it's it's a big car, I like it. Uh, and uh, transformation, there's a couple QC that I pointed out, like, uh, you know, the shoulder joints popping off. And also, ah, oh, man, I think this is weird that, no, okay. Maybe, can I, I can't turn the leg. I just noticed it's just, you have like this big mushroom gap here. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this, guys. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back. Have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.